All right, everybody, what's going on? This video, we're going to look at approximating the area under a curve using rectangles, but we're going to do it with some software. We're going to do it with GeoGebra. And what you can do is you can uh, just go to geodrabra.org and when you go there it'll come up to this page and then you can just click on GeoGebra Classic. You can click on it and use it in your web browser or you can actually download it to your computer and install it. It's whichever one. I'm just using it in the web browser on this one. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to type in my function. So I've got f of x is equal to x squared. We'll just, we'll just do x squared. And then I want to know the area between 0 and let's just say 3. Okay, x equals 0 to x equal 3. So I can either use upper or lower rectangles. So let's just do it uh, lower. So let's type in lower and it's lower sum. And then all you do is you just click on this right here, this lower sum and your function. Now you can type in x squared as your function, but notice I already typed in my function here to graph it. So what I can do is I can, let's see if I can, Okay, so I can just type in f of x, and then if I want to change the function, I can just change it up here, and it'll automatically change it here. And so I want my start value to be 0, I want my end value to be 3, and the number of rectangles, let's just say 4. And there it is. And you can see it gives me the area of 5.91. Let's zoom out, and it it puts the rectangles in there and it adds up the areas. Now, the other thing I can do, I can do upper sum. So I type in upper and then the same thing, f of x, zero, uh, no, not one, three, and then I want four rectangles. And there it is. And you can see it gives me the area of those rectangles. All right, so that's that's lower and upper sum. Now, you can do it like that and you can you can type them all in and everything. But let's look at something else. Let's look at one more thing. And what I want to do is I want to add some sliders. I want to add sliders for the start point, the end point and the number of rectangles. So, if we come up here to to this, we can go to slider and we click where we want to add it. You click on this on the graph area and we name we can name it A. That's fine. And we want let's just say we want the minimum value to be 0 and let's say the maximum value 10 and increments of 1 and hit OK. And so what it does is it puts a slider. And then I can add another one. Let's see and it'll automatically name it. And let's just go one to 10 and let's do increments of one, hit okay. And in the minimum and maximum, you, you, can, you can put that however you want. And then we'll add a third one. Let's go zero to 10 and in increments of one. All right, so there's my sliders. And maybe what I want to do is click on here and maybe change the name of it. Let's put start. Whoop, I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's delete that. Let's right click and hit rename. And we'll name this start. And then Let's rename this end and this one rectangles. All right, so we, we have our sliders in. So now let's do 
let's just do lower sum. Let's do lower sum and we'll click that and our function it's going to be f of x and then our starting x value we will label that start our end we will label that end and then this one rectangles and we hit enter all right so let's say we want to do a start value of zero and then let's go up here to a start value of four and let's change the number of rectangles to four and there it is and you know you, you can you can do whatever you want so let's do a start value of say three and an end value of six and so there you go there's your uh let's see if we can get it Whoop. let's see if we can get it all in one screen it don't yeah there it goes okay and i accidentally okay i accidentally added one all right when see i had this i had this selected so when i clicked over here it added a slider in order to move this area here you need to come over here and click on this air this arrow right here and you know and and there it is and we can change the number of rectangles see there it's increasing the rectangles and you can see over here how that area is changing and so you know and i just made it go up to 10 so you know of course the more rectangles you use the more accurate your graph is going to be and let's you know let's move this back down to zero let's move this to three and there you go there's your 10 rectangles there's the area 7.7 .7 approximate so you know that's using rectangles and we could do the same thing for uh upper sum okay and, and we could even come up here and we could change the function to x cubed, hit enter, and you can see it just, everything just automatically adjusts. That's why, you know, that's why here when you're using these formulas, I would try to use stuff like this, you know, put some sliders in and, you know, put your function as, as in as f of x and you just change it right here and it automatically reflects here. All right, so I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.